the names. Strike guard, light herder. Lady Celestria. Together we are Celestial, Celestial Strike. Strike. Y'all, it is Baldur's Gate season. Woo! More specifically, Alchemy Horizons Baldur's Gate. What up? Up in MTGA. Yes. So, obviously, we already have a Raga Draga paper uh, commander video. <laughs> obviously. But we now have the ability to do a Narina historic brawl deck tech video and we're pretty excited about it so uh shout out to mtga coming through and getting some uh some of the paper ones that we like yeah thank god yes uh we didn't have we didn't know we didn't know we didn't, we didn't know what's gonna happen but we really didn't we do now and uh with raga draga being in there we're very excited raga draga is one of our favorite Raga Draga Gorguts boss is a two and a gruel, so uh, two and a red and green for a 4-4 four, four human boar. Each creature you control with a mana ability gets plus two, plus two. Whenever a creature you control with a mana ability attacks, untap it. AKA Vigilance, what? Yeah, kind of a pseudo vigilance. And then whenever you cast a spell, if at least seven mana was cast, uh, spent to cast it, untap target creature, it gets plus seven, plus seven, and gains trample until end of turn. So, oh so basically the whole point of the deck, a lot of mana dorks, and then get your big scaries uh, in the latter half of your game, and then you'll untap things and get plus seven, plus seven to go along with the big scaries that you cast for the uh, seven plus mana. So I'm pretty excited about sharing it. Lady C, why don't you take the first couple of sections here? Okay, we got Blizzard Brawl, which is a little bit of a fight creature, so you can kind of... yeah. Yeah, Remove yeah. some stuff. Removal. You got Lanawar Elves, a one drop, add a green mana, snakeskin veil, put a 1 1 counter, gain some hex proof, veil of summer, uh, draw a card, gain some hex proof, you know, the drill. Yep. Uh, so then we're getting to our two drops. You got a braid with given a little bit of removal, crackling emergence, enchant a land you control. It gets three three, but what's, it's still a land with haze. What's important about that is that it will get the raga buff if it's a land because that's a mana ability. If you tap things to get mana, that is mana. So uh, it's a five five instead of a three three. Ooh, sexy. Then you get destiny spinner for one and a green. We got some. Well, actually, no. It gives you protection right mm -hmm. there. A little bit of protection. Drove there of the mighty. You get a little buff plus uh, a mana ramp. Druid of the cow. Mana ramp. Haze of pollen. Prevent. That's a little protection. Prevent the combat damage. Yeah. Kind of like um, fog. Exactly. Exactly like fog. Humble naturalist. Mana ramp. Uh, Elysian Karyatid. Mana ramp. Incubation Druid, the best mana, mana ramp that you can get. Leaf yep. Druid, pretty good one right there. Naga Vitalis, mana ramp. Paradise Druid, mana ramp. Ram through, knock out an opponent creature. Reclusive Taxidermist, you get mana ramp plus a little plus three, plus two action if you got it plenty of creature cards in your graveyard. Yep. Uh, you got Tangled Veil slash Tangled Florahedron, which gives you either a land or just a 1-1 one, one with mana ramp, depending on how you are ramp-wise, yep. land-wise. Um, Woodland Mystic Ramp. Ornithopter of Paradise, flying ramp, okay. And then Finale of Devastation, you can basically go into your library and pull out your a, win cons. Yeah, your win con card. Yep, I like it a lot. Uh, so onto the three drops, we got Broken Wings, uh, just a little bit of removal. Uh, cultivate for some extra ramp. We got Landowar Visionary for extra ramp as well. Get that Raga buff. Uh, Sylvan Awakening, Awakening is uh, really nice because uh, all of your lands are going to become 2-2 elemental creatures with reach, indestructible, and haste. The thing is, is that the key word is they are still lands, which means they have mana ability meaning they get the raga buff so they're going to be four four creatures with reach indestructible and haste and they're still land so that can be a win con in itself weaver of blossoms get that extra mana ramp uh, land of war tribe is a really great mana ramp card uh and it gets that raga buff cultivator's caravan is really awesome because uh when you crew it it's going to become a creature and so instead of a five five it'll be a seven seven because of raga 
Jax is the Troublemaker is really awesome because you can actually discard a card and create a token copy of another creature and there's a lot of really awesome creatures that you can copy in this deck. I feel like it works really well. Uh, since our Nurturer, uh, really awesome in ETB life game, but also Mana Ramp. Uh, same with Dawnheart Rejuvenator, uh, same exact thing, pretty much the same card. Uh, Oasis Ritualist. The difference here is that you can exert and add two mana of any color. And then Sarith is going to be actually your protection. Other untapped creatures you control have hexproof. So, and you get some death touch whenever you're attacking, which is nice. And you can mm. untap. Mm. Leafkin Avenger, uh, Avenger uh, you're going to actually get the extra mana ramp. Also, you can do a little bit of damage as well. Terror of the Peaks, oh, obviously, Lord. because yeah. hello. Auspicious Sterix, I like to put this in there to cheat out a card using that mutate ability. Ashaya is incredible in this deck because whenever something is a forest land in addition to their other types, they are going to get that mana ability buff. So everything's going to get plus two, plus two, including Raga. So that's going to get six, six instead of a four, four if you have Ashaya out there. Uh, Nissa, who shakes the world, is incredible in this deck. Not only do you get the extra uh, buff for the mana, but the lands that you are going to put the 311 counters on are going to get the Raga buff because they have mana ability, obviously. So, very, very, very powerful card in this deck. Lady C, why don't you go through all the thick boys? Ooh, we got a Tali Primal Storm. Hello. Duh. Inescapable Blaze. Let's just take somebody out with six damage. I like it. Vorinclex. Pump up those counters and get some haste. Kogla, take out an opponent Opponent whenever he comes out. And then uh, whenever you attack in the future, you get to knock out artifacts or enchantments, which is amazing. Very great. Angrath's Marauders makes doubles the damage that is dealt, which... I mean, that's that's kind of a win con right there, oh, yeah. depending on your opponent's board. Terror of Mount Velas, you get a flying double strike. Um, when it enters the battlefield, all of your creatures gain double strike, so that Very one's pretty nice. good. Yadara, Wandering Monster, you get an 8-8 Trample Haste. <laughs> Uh, Dracusith Maw of Flames, a 7 7 flyer, and then when it attacks, it deals four damage to any target, and then three more damage to each of up to two other targets. What? Oh my Very god. Very good attack triggers. Yeah. yeah. Colossification give a <laughs> chance at a creature and give it plus 20, plus 20. And if you're doing that with Trample, the game is over. Yeah, it's over. Gnawbone, when he attacks, however much damage is dealt, you create a token for the amount of damage dealt. So it's if you deal treasure. seven damage, you deal seven treasure. If you do 20 damage, well... 20 treasure. Game over. Yeah. So yeah, Rampaging Brontodon. This guy gets plus one, plus one for each land you control when he attacks. Uh, Thorn Elemental is a 7-7, seven, seven, and it can assign combat damage as though it weren't blocked. Pretty so, nice. Yeah, Thorn Mammoth. Uh, he Anytime a creature enters the battlefield, he fights another creature. He's a 6-6. Six, six. He can take care of all those little guys oh, for yeah. you. Nyx Bloom Ancient. Um, if you tra tap a permanent for mana, it produces three times that much mana. So basically, once he gets out there, whatever mana you have plus your mana <laughs> ability gets times three. So you basically you'll be have unlimited in that, Yeah, you'll mana. be comboing that seven mana uh, creature buff at the very back of Ragged's pumps there Absolutely insane. And then you add a Chroma's Memorial. This is another win con for a lot of decks because it gives all of your creatures flying, first strike, vigilance, trample, and haste, plus protection from black and red. Yep. You get Meteor Golem. He comes out as a 3-3, but when he comes out, he destroys a target Nolan permanent. Uh, Polyraptor, whenever he is dealt damage, you can create a token that's a copy of him. Really nice. Uh, Vorinclex, this guy, ooh, he's rude. So whenever an opponent taps any mana, it can't untap on their next turn. So basically Nasty. they lose an entire turn. Enraise Forerunners, a 7-7 seven, seven with tr Vigilance, Trample, and Haste. Other creatures get plus two, plus two, and Trample. Yep. Um, Crater Hoof... This is a win con right there. Walking I mean, win con. Yeah. Best win con in the game. Yeah. Great hinge. I mean, duh. Everyone knows that that one Hello. is a Tarasket, a 10-10, Haste with Ward. Okay. Ulamog. 
Yeah, thank you. Amen. Galta, 12-12 Trample that can come out super cheap if you have other powerful creatures on the board. Yep. And then I uh, believe we run 37, 37 land of total 30? lands, but yeah. we have a, a backside land. I'm a sh- Yeah, we have a backside. There. We did. We but even if we it. don't, uh, backside land, you got lots of ramp. I mean, it makes Redonkulous sense. So. ramp. Y'all, if you like the deck, there is a link in the description below to uh, to go ahead and just copy and paste this right into Arena and uh, comment below what you would add, take away, change, anything like that. By all means, let us know. Yeah, let us know in the comments. But before you do, well, go ahead and comment. But I was going to say, before you get a final decision, you probably want to see us yeah, play some let's, games. Uh, let's, so let's get up in there. Let's show you how it works. Let's, see let's hop got. in. Yeah. All right, game one. We're ready to hop in here. Hopefully the shuffler's kind to us. We're gonna have to keep this one because, I mean, I'm scared to put it down again. I you know mean, what I mean? But there's so much ramp. We got ramp. So that's the whole point of the deck, right? There you so go. There we got you a go. turn Just two. Shoot. Get there our ramp go. out there. Boom. We're on pace for a turn three commander, so what we're all more right. What can you ask for? You got a Chroma's Memorial and Rampaging Bronze on. We're, we're good, you know. Exactly. So let's go and get Raga going. We're solid, right? Mm -hmm. It's so awesome that Raga comes out and immediately a 1-3 turns into a 3-5. That's a 2-drop. You yeah. can't get better value so than that. So unless they can get something on their board to block, we're going to hit them for seven next turn. Easy. And that that's the thing with Raga is it gets so crazy. And yes, we're not hitting mana. Don't get me wrong. I, that's not great. Ooh, but I don't know if I would have done that if I were you. The only reason I did that one is because you get uh, two mana of any color whenever you have a power four or greater creature. Yeah, but if so, you could have pulled Lana War, we might have drawn a mana. Could have drawn a card, maybe. I we would have definitely drawn a card. Well, because we check this out. Man. We got two, three, four, five, six. So if we just draw a land, we're going Brontodon, a Chroma. We can do whatever we want, right? So we actually got ahead. Well, we didn't draw a land, but we can put both of these ramp cards out here. Draw on a card. Yep, we're all right. See, we get to tap that for the two. Smack for another seven. We're completely in control of the game. And now we really have seven fast. mana. So what I love about Gruul is that it is both hasty and uh, stompy. Oh, yeah. It's uh, it's just the best of both worlds. It really is. Oh, is Raga about to get taken? Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, That's okay. No. That's okay. We got enough to just put it right back out. And I would say we probably put it out before anything else because we want to get that uh, untapped you know, do the all the thing yeah. ability. So I think oh, we could do that, but that's only going to give us eight. Yeah, let's go ahead and just do this because we can still. Yeah, we'll still be able to hit for three. I just love that it untaps. Yeah, for... that vigilance. I mean, like it's worded kind of sneakily, but that's literally what it's, it is. Oh, it's vigilance. vigilance. Yeah, it means it is what it is. And honestly, if they play Tiamat, it's it's over. I mean, it's still over. It is so over. Especially, we'll go ahead and do a chroma. Untap that. Everything's oh, ouch, flying. mommy, ouch, mommy. Yeah, that's, that's, that's gonna do it, though. Boom! Oh! Just like that. That is how Raga go. On to the next one. E Right, game two. Uh, yeah. Yeah, keep it because we got some really. It's good... It's the ramp. You yeah, know what I mean. The ramp's good. It's the ramp. It really comes down to that. If we, if this wasn't a full-on ramp deck, then no. Obviously, we'd never keep the two land. But hand. I mean, you're either gonna have land or you're gonna have ramp. Yeah, like just. Incubation, Incubation Druid, Druid. It's a great two, turn two play. All day. We got all the all things day. we need. So we got the Woodland Mystic and the Cultivator's Care. Yep. Ran. We're golden. I think we'll be fine. They are floating, so we could try to turn three Mander. It's probably gonna get counter. No, it's he not. Did not. Whew. All right. He did not. We're in. Uh, we're in control here over Houdini. Oh man, they're still trying to ramp. 
we're very much in control. We draw a land. No. Mm -mm. I like putting this out here just to make sure we don't get countered. Get us another little ramp card. Boom! Hit him for four. I think we're good. That's the key is making sure things aren't getting countered, right? We got one, two, three, four, five, six. If we draw a land, we can go like Brontodon or the uh, Yadaro, something like that, and untap. Something and sexy. Yeah. But even if not, it's not a huge, huge deal. We still do the caravan. Hey. Oh, we, do, we do have that. Not enough for Bronte. Oh, we don't, huh? Wait. One. Oh, I was counting Destiny Spinner yeah, as a... Well, let's adapt. Yeah, definitely the adapt. For, for some sure. reason, I was counting Destiny Spinner as a mana ramp creature. Hello. So the adapt is going to be... Why is that key. taking so long? Are they gonna counter Come on, triggered ability? There we okay. Go. Okay. So. Ooh, let's broken wings. No. So we can we can swing first because it. Yeah, because it'll untap. And then we can still do like a broken wings or caravan, you know, something like that. Boom, boom. Think caravan so we can get Bronte or it probably Yodaro next turn because it has haste and we can go ahead and end it, you know? Yeah. No, that makes sense. They it aren't... didn't do what it what it was gonna take. Okay, Mox it's, Amber. It's not what it's drawing not the what cards. It takes. I mean, they're gonna have like some annoying combos here because that's just kind of how Jora is. <laughs> they need a board wipe to be able to survive. And yeah, if they don't get board wipe, then we're good. Opinion. They can cast all the spells they want, but like this doesn't really do anything. They're gonna be able to keep casting things because. I mean, they are. Yeah, they are casting plenty of blocks. Yeah, the artifact uh, getting the. Extra cost reduction with that enthusiastic merchant that they have there, or merchant Plus, they have all of those cards in their hand. Yes, they're, they're, they're doing what their deck's supposed to do, but we're just a smidge faster. This doesn't bother me. Like, that's the thing is that now they're tapped out. I just don't see how they stay alive next turn, especially since they just attacked here. And I don't know why they put out the Ronin because they got to put it right back in their hand. Like, why would they put it out and not attack with it? Yeah, that's... Okay. They don't have any mana floating. Maybe they didn't read the card. I mean, I would assume that was the case. Or they just put it out there to get the historic draw trigger. Because mm. it's an artifact. Mm-hmm. Okay, I think oh. Yadaro is the play. A little trample haste. We're going to untap that. And I think if we swing out, we win, huh? Oh my god. It's quite a bit. Ooh, interesting. We could kill their blocker, too. What? What are we waiting on? They don't have any floating mana. What are we waiting on? Are they roping us out? Okay, okay. good. Jeez. All right, so when this untaps, we'll kill the flyer with broken wings. And that is for sure enough to win. Oh, Woo! Let's no. go. It's Sore like, loser. It's like that. On to the next one. Alright, game three. We're playing Zia Thor. It's one of my favorite commanders. This is a good command. Uh, we don't. A toughie. Uh, ah, uh. We have to keep it. Uh, put down Nawbone. Oh, jeez. No, no, Nawbone. And we have the ramp to where it's just like, it's on schedule, but it's just slow. I just wish we could draw more than two lands. Yeah. That would be great. For real. Land of War Tribe's really nice because you had the three mana. Yeah. But would be nicer if we didn't have just to draw some know, land, do you know? Tap 
mana. We got, we got plenty of it in there. It's just... Can't draw it. Yeah. Hurtful. But three mana is really nice. Yeah. For sure. Okay. Let that come through. Because I think they can take stuff off of that. Are you kidding me? Still no... Uh, still none. So, we'll go Raga. I can't I mean, we're, this. we're in okay We're not shape. doing bad considering that we've only drawn two land. This is absolute crap. Thank you, Arena Shuffler. Yeah, really appreciate it. Huh. Yeah, let's we'll let that come. Boom! There we hey, go. What? Oh land. my god. Um, uh, yeah. yeah, let's do Kogla. Let's knock out somebody. Boom! Ouch. Uh. Alright. Get a nice little seven in there. Boom, boom. Um. And we are in control. If we can draw a land, we can go in rays, and that'll be it. Ooh, they did it to give it haste? Are they planning on attacking with it? Because, because we can crack back smart. for the win. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they, they don't do math. I so. understand that, though. Sometimes people don't do math. Uh, yeah. Unless they so. just sack Zeotora to give us an extra seven. Well, they can't but sack Zeotora. They have to sack something else. Yeah, I mean, we didn't even need the land. Uh, Get careful. Yeah. Well, wait. no, we can just swing. Yeah. yeah. What, what, what am I doing? Yeah, sure, kill that. Why not? Boom, boom! That's an easy, easy dub. Boom! Oof! Just like that. Raga, Draga, you guys. Raga. Oh, it's going ham. Oh! On to the next one. Mm. Right on to game four. Is this a draw? No, waiting on... Yeah, there okay, we go. Okay, there we go. I was like... We're yeah. playing Tiamat, which is really nice With because... no land. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah, I don't... Get this. Ugh. Yeah. At least there's land and ramp and... We'll keep it. Stuff. Not the best, but... So Hello! Ti Tiamat with these new... These new dragons are pretty crazy. These new dragons are insane. And if you haven't checked it out, we do have a uh, podcast mm -hmm. that we did on the new dragons of Baldur's Gate. Yeah. Highly recommend. Definitely take a peek at that. There's some whelp coming out there. Oh, okay. So we got options. I think Ornithopter's pretty solid. Keep Bop. that Bop keep that at bay in the air. It's a little bit slower than yeah. our games of the past. I'd really like to draw just a normal land, not tapped, so we can go Raga. Because turn three Mander is Important. totally fine. Yeah. Is there's something about turn three Mander that makes you feel ahead of the game. Didn't happen. Not gonna do that, so we'll just crack this. Probably a green. green. Okay. Get a bigger mana ramp out there. Then we're for sure doing Raga next turn. For we're fine. For sure. Come on, guy. Uh, Let's go. They're thinking about it. Come on. Uh, yep. Swing with their whelp. There's. <laughs> there we they're go. They're floating all of their mana, but we'll try it anyway. Oh, yes! Yes! Okay. Uh, we can swing first. Because they untap. And then we then can we'll play, play our, peop our, our things. People. I like okay. it. Okay, yes. Nice. Good stuff. I like it. I like it. I I'm like into it. it. I'm into it. We got enough to Colossify now. Ooh, what are we going to Colossify? Probably that 4-5, huh? Mm. Oh, 
Oh no, we got a flyer. Yeah, the, none if you of this classify, is... quick question: If you classify, can you untap with Raga Draga's ability, so, or does that kind of counter it? It'll, it doesn't counter it, but like, watch. We'll do it on there, and it resolves. But we tap, we untap something first, and then it goes onto it, and then it taps. So, okay. you know, it's not as crazy, but it's still fun because yeah. I mean we we're still fun it, the whole point of keeping that in there is not only to buff your creature but to get that plus seven plus seven that you can use mm. which is exactly what we did so it's a two for one what are you gonna fun guy yeah I mean you gotta block you right you gotta block or but not, even if you maybe. well no you probably block the four because the nine with the trample, you're not really going to do anything with that with a yeah, one one. So you probably got to block sense. the four to just uh, try to keep it. They're not roping, are they? Oh, oh, okay. oh. pass to block. Wow. Okay. Oh, no, I hope uh, they don't have a. Um, we don't have. Okay, never mind. I was just saying. I was like, well, we can play another ramp, huh? I hope they don't have a board wipe. If they don't have a board wipe, this is way over. Okay, that's not it's it. It's not a board wipe. And good, good game. game. Yeah, just I'm going to do it. Um, just swing. Well, we don't have enough to technically win if we just swing in. Um. Right? Because they could just block the 20. Maybe we did. I don't know, though. If they block... I... Maybe we had barely enough, but whatever. whatever. This worked out. Whatever. It's not like you, there was more spells you could have cast. It's right. not like you did. Yeah, I mean, we could have kept going forever. Oh. All right. <laughs> I, think we're get, I think we're good. Hey there we go. Another dub. I like it. On to the next one. Right, game five. Oof. Um, do we keep I, That's my it? vote, but you do what you feel in your heart. Because we have so much. Incubation Druid plus. Yeah. Maybe, yeah, keep it. That's what's awesome about this deck, too, is that you can keep a two land hand, which Arena just loves to give for some reason. And uh, you're fine. Yeah. <laughs> Miraculously. Look, hey, looky there, there drawing land. One. All right, incubation Maybe. druid. Perfect turn two play. We're good. Got crater in the hand. Got Maw of Flames. Got Chroma's Memorial. We're we're solid. We're right on cue for a uh, turn three Raga. If it doesn't get countered. Oh, no. Oh no, come on. Oh. There we go, oh. baby. Countered removed? No. Oh, I wow. I mean, we are this is blue green. I mean, black. I see I see any blue floating and I'm just assuming. Or black, you get the removal. Right. Okay. Oof, yeah, say the adapt because I mean, That's if we adapt, powerful. yeah. No, what is that? Sure. Three, four, five, six, seven. If we draw one more land, we can hoof. Yeah, go ahead and get you. Go ahead and get your boy out there. Go ahead and get your boy out there. Let us draw a land. It's over with the land, right? Am I doing my math right? Mm. Oof! They're making treasures. Though. I don't know. I don't know if hoof could win this early on with. We get that plus seven creatures. plus seven though. That's true. That's true. This would be untapping incubation. Oof. All right, let's find out. I mean, yeah, no, that is. That's. I think that's enough. I think that's enough too. Oof. I'm not doing the exact math because. Math is hard. I mean, that the math is hard, but I'm pretty sure that's enough, right? Everything would trample. It, I feel like it is. Oh! It's enough! Woo! Oh, 
Oh, no, it's not. What but, happened? Oh, they gained life with their commander. Oh, no. <laughs> so they have one life left. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we good gamed him too soon. Oh, no. Watch him board wipe us right now. Oh, that would be just horrendous. We'd be so down bad. That's not going to do it. That's not going to do it. Yeah, go yeah, ahead and pop a throw. pop. Yeah, there you go. Boom. Why not? Bye. Good game, buddy. Boom. Ow. Yes. Oh, oh man. Raga Draga Woo. is a beast. Oh, I love Raga. There's at love him in paper. Can't believe that they brought him over to arena. What that is so a amazing. absolute treat. So amazing. I'm like, so excited. Um, Y'all. This is, once again, the link to the deck is in the comments below, so, or excuse me, in the description below, but in the comments below, let us know what you think. Tell us all about your feelings. Yes, let us know what you like, what you didn't like, what you would add, and uh, make it even better. So, uh, we do other things besides YouTube, though, Lady C. We do, absolutely. We have a Twitch stream every Wednesday and Sunday at 6. Mm -hmm. We also have a Discord, which, yes. honestly, the Discord is where the magic happens, because we have a group of deck-building mofos. No doubt about it. That, um, from all different, all over the world, all different um, levels of experience, experience and power and, and whatever. Power, and yeah. honestly, just different, like, preferences mm -hmm. in terms of, you know, stompy control, removal, the good stuff. We've got the good stuff. So yep. by all means, join our Discord. That join link, our community. That link is in the description below as well. Indeed so Indeed it so yeah, is. Hop in on that. But uh y'all, until next time, I am Strike Our Light Herder. I am Lady Celestria. Together we are Celestial, Celestial Strike. Strike. Thank y'all for stopping by. We will see y'all next time. Take it sleazy. Bye. Peace.